Hey guys, what's up? This is McKenzie Chriswell, and today we're going to be taking a look at creating water simulations in Autodesk Maya. Alright, so like I said, today we're going to be taking a look at uh, creating water simulations in Maya. Uh, just really quickly before I even start the tutorial, um, one of the things I wanted to show you really quickly uh, in Maya is how to get an example of a fluid simulation and uh, you do that by making sure you're on the animation window, uh, not on the animation but on the dynamics menu coming over to fluid effects, fluid effects and get ocean pond examples. It's going to bring up what, uh, what Maya calls the visor and these are basically a bunch of sample projects that Autodesk has created for all sorts of stuff the uh, reason I wanted to show you this is I know most of the time uh, when working in a 3D program, if you have an example of what someone else has done to look at, uh, you can kind of figure things out for yourself. So I wanted to uh, just show that really quickly. But uh, what are we going to do in this tutorial? So we're going to create a pond uh, simulation and create some wakes in the pond um, and play around with some of those properties. So uh, let's jump right into this. And the first thing we want to do is create a pond. Uh, again, for, throughout this entire tutorial, you're going to want to remain on the Dynamics menu. Um, I am using Maya 2015, so some of the menus up here and uh, you know different types of things down here might be out of order or something. That might, there might be a little bit of weird stuff depending on what uh, type. Uh, I mean, excuse me, what version of Maya you're using, but for the most part, this should be fairly straightforward. I uh, just wanted to say that. So, to create our pond, we'll come to Fluid Effects, Pond, and uh, Create Pond. Um, very straightforward. And I want to go ahead and add about 250 frames down here to work with. And also, uh, we want to make this pond a little bit bigger. So, Let's see. It's a little bit hard to see what's going on on this tiny display that I'm doing for the tutorial, but uh, what we'll do first things first is just scale this up some. Uh, we'll say about 100, well, maybe not that much, about 50 by 50 for our pond. And the second control will, uh, I mean, excuse me, this third control will control the depth of the pond and we'll make that about 10. And this is a bounding box for the pond. So as you can see, our actual pond is kind of here in the middle. And what the depth means is this is just how high or low a wave can go in the pond. And then of course, uh, whenever our simulation hits the edges of our surrounding box, it will bounce off of them. Uh, now by default, the pond's not gonna do anything. It's just gonna be your uh, stereotypical, perfectly still pond. Um, so to actually get some things going, we need to create something to interact with the pond. And in this example, what we're going to be doing is creating a wake object. We'll come up to we'll come up to fluid effects and choose pond uh, create. Oops, excuse me, sorry. Uh, pond create wake. Okay. And now, if we play you can see our wake object is going to be emitting a wake and uh, that'll be it. So if we come and choose the transformation controls we can move this up and there's two different ways to set a keyframe in Maya. You can either uh, switch over to animation momentarily, choose animate and choose set key or you can stay on the dynamics menu and hit S to set a keyframe. So we'll be hitting S just so that we don't have to keep switching menu. So I'll come back to frame uh, zero. Oops. Come back to frame. And I'll hit S to set a keyframe here for our uh, <laughs> uh, for our wake object. And then I will go in here and. I'll say that'll take about one second, 24 frames, and hit S again. Okay, so if we play back our simulation, uh, now we can see our wake object is going to hit once and then uh, leave. So 
that's a start. Let's start messing with some more settings. Uh, we can increase the base resolution on the pond, and that's going to make uh, the resolution of the pond higher, just a higher quality image. Obviously, that's going to tack on render time, though, so adding a whole lot. It will be very defined, which isn't actually even necessarily what you want in all cases, but uh, it will add some render time. So we'll keep this around 110, 115 or so. Uh, so first thing we'll want to do is come to dynamic simulation and start messing with some of these settings. Now, uh, we have gravity by default at about 10. And it's cool because if we turn down gravity, uh, what's basically going to happen is our wakes are going to fall slower. So we're going to have much more defined waves. And that's cool. Uh, also, we have a control called dampness. And this is basically going to uh, lower the amount of wake that we get. Okay, you can see if we put it at zero, we get a whole lot more uh, wake. And if we turn it up to a very high value, so let's stop this will get little to no splash at all. So we'll set that pretty low 